tell them my angel. I gave my wife another name. When I wear clothes, I say, my mirror, come and check. Is it okay? Are you listening to me? Come and check. Is it okay? If she says it's okay, it's okay. Even if I see that it's not okay, because my wife says it's okay, it's okay. It is on. Are you listening to me? When you ask your wife, don't ask any other woman. And when you snap, you snap. You send it to another woman. Am I okay? You are not okay. The brain is not okay. <laughs> are you listening to me? That man has gone nuts. The wife says you are okay. You still want to confirm. You even send a message to your mother. Are you okay? You are not okay. Even to your mother, you are not okay. Your mother should tell you you are not okay. Your mother should tell you, what did your wife say? A good mother will first ask, what did your wife say? Anytime you take message to your mother and your mother is always siding you, suspect that woman. You know what make you marry? Are you hearing me? Then what your wife says is the final. We men, we just the worker like this. We men, then they look at our back. And when you think you're a superwoman, minus your wife in your life, you know, go two years, you could die. That is the word of covenant. Do you hear me very well? Uh, say, now your wife go tell her what thing go do. Now your wife go tell her what thing go do. Thank God your wife is telling you. Some of our leaders in our country now prostitute to death. Then what you going to do? When they use and rob their head. They will give them houses. They will give them everything. The thing they're supposed to do, develop your local government, to, they will give to prostitutes. I say, honorable. They like that name, honorable. They can die for the name. Honorable. Honorable. Prostitutes go, they rob the head of the one that, how will he get to the seats? Say, I'm sitting on the government chair. How will he pronounce right thing? Prostitute. Thomas. Public dumping suck away. Tell yourself, say, it is done. Anytime you dress now, responsible man in the house, you are connected anywhere you are, tell your wife, check me, am I okay? And if your wife is not touch, look for a touch person that you respect. Submit your wife to that person for a season. As a matter of fact, want to pay for tuition fee, pay. But let your wife choose. Don't choose. Are you listening to me? Eh? Solution. Don't choose. A particular brother, a pastor came on Wednesday who wanted to marry. And when I asked the fiance a question, he will answer. I said, oh God. No. We you know they do it that in this case. You're a boy. So let man tell you. I said, let us speak so she can be independent. When you are always speaking for her, you are killing her. Every day of her life is a day of death. And she'll be with you, love with you, but her mind is never with you. Because of what? You are always, I speak my mind, I speak the mind of my wife. Moses, do you know the mind? One day, I told my wife, I said, do you know what I'm thinking? He said, ah, I know you now. Ah, huh how many years have you married? I said, you don't know what I'm thinking. How will I, I, how do I say self? No, I said, do you know me? Yes, she said, I know you. I said, you know me? She said, ah, we are married for years. I said, uh -huh. you know me? She said, yes. I said, okay, what am I thinking? She said, I will not know what you are thinking. I said, my thought is me. My thought is what? It's me. You might be watching a movie with your spouse and you're abusing each other. Take the remote. I don't even know I enter into this marriage. I don't know saying I'm foolish man. We have to come marry self. I don't even know. I don't even look at her. Look at the head, self. She's not even beautiful. Look at the children where you say in born for person. You say born children for person. You are watching the same movie though, and you'll be laughing. But you're abusing each other. It happens in marriage. Has it happened to you before? I call for that counseling. I call the old pastor that with me. I say, come and tell me. Have you ever said that I wish I'd ever marry? I say, ah, plenty time. 
One said last week. One said this. One said it happened once in a while. One said, I said, okay. And the, span, the fancy and the fancy open their mouth. I said, you never know. You are just starting. Don't think that you don't arrive. Say, no, ring. Ah, ring. Leave ring out of marriage. Why you can't ring there? You are going to a university that you have received. You have received certificate and you have never gone to school. No graduation. Your lecturer are your difficulties. Your lecturers are your misunderstanding. Your lecturers are the insult you are able to manage. When you can't manage insults, you manage to move out. I say, I don't go marry to that person. And if you're always moving, you turn to move. From there, you move again. This man no good. Move again. This one no good. Move again. This man no good. And when they look at you, they turn you to dust. 